Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If we are brand new, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary and I'm a professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. We are going to be talking about the week ahead. However, I am a little late. Why? Because I've been chilling. <laughs> I've definitely been following my own advice and tapping into that divine feminine energy of receiving and relaxation and allowing the universe to just kind of do what she's going to do regardless and getting out of her way. And honestly, during this Mercury retrograde, Pluto retrograde, Saturn retrograde, and soon Jupiter retrograde transit and vibes that we're in right now, that's the best thing that we can do. So for those of you guys that are curious, I am working with the Mermaid Tarot. That's the one that I feel called to work with the most. And if you're wondering what this book is in front of me, this is a printout of the ebook that I wrote for this year called The Complete Astro and Intuitive Guide to 2021. <laughs> I wrote it, but I still forget the titles of the books that it is that I wrote. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, go ahead and flip to the part, if you have it, go ahead and flip to the part where we're talking about this week, which is starting June 14th. So one thing that is just completely standing out to me is clearly the fact that at this moment in time, we have a really tight square between Saturn retrograde and Uranus, who is currently sitting in the sign of Taurus. Why this is so meaningful and so impactful and why we're going to feel this a little bit more heavier than we normally would is because all of 2020, we were completely getting destroyed, dismantled, rebooted, rebuilt with the Saturn and Pluto and also Jupiter transits and Uranus transits. I don't want to sound like a complete broken record, but honestly, you guys, go back and look at any one of the videos that I would have recently uploaded on my YouTube channel, and you would have heard me talk about how impactful these transits would have been and currently are in your life, but also globally. I'm going to skim right through that for the sake of time and for the sake of me just preserving my energy um, and conserving my energy and not wasting my breath. Not that I don't think that you guys aren't going to appreciate me talking about it again, but again, I've just been a broken record. So with this Saturn retrograde, um, um, yeah, Saturn retrograde squaring off with Uranus, Uranus sitting in the sign of Taurus, this is exact, this became exact on the 14th, which was at the time of me filming that yesterday, that was on Monday. Even though this energy was exact, this energy was felt even before the Gemini eclipse, um, which was happening last, like a few weeks ago just a couple weeks ago this goes longer than that why because these planets are heavy heavy hitters and they move very very slow but we feel it more the tighter that it gets but even though we're feeling it right now even though we're in the thick of this it doesn't mean that we weren't feeling the energy kind of building up and how i can tell you best describe you know how i can best describe this energy is it feels like a vice it is not meant to cripple you or make you feel powerless. It's meant to squeeze out and expel out of your life relationships, circumstances, patterns, ways of thinking, ways of moving, ways of doing, things that we believe in, perspective shifts that do not, and maybe never, they've never served us. And the other thing that I can clearly tell you by looking at the chart is that spirit the divine, the planets are all aligning and arranging right now so that what we truly value, I just heard the word appreciates, meaning that what is truly valuable in our life, it only grows more valuable, not only in how we see it, but its actual um, uh, worth and value in our life. And what we used to value, what we used to prioritize, is also starting to get squeezed out. It's starting to get pushed out. Predominantly, again, this is because of Pluto moving through the sign of Scorpio. I'm sorry, moving through the sign of Capricorn. Um, Saturn, retrograde, moving through the sign of Aquarius. Uh, Uranus, definitely moving through the sign of Taurus. 
And at the time of me filming this, or at the time of me talking to you guys, Mercury is also retrograde in the sign of Gemini. So we have these major power planets that are forcing us, forcing our back against the wall to kind of look and examine, okay, who am I? What do I want? For some of us, we have been easily swayed into different things based upon circumstances or based upon what we think we want or what we are valuing at that point. Let's say it be a person, a relationship that just manifests in our lives and we're just like, yo, this is it, this is the one. Um, to the point where we're not taking the time out to kind of ask ourselves, what do we want? What do I want? What do I see? Um, the planets and spirit does not want you to compromise. In fact, one of the predominant themes that I've been saying within the last few months is I like prioritizing yourself in a way that seems very selfish and self-indulgent. And the only thing that I'm really truly seeing you guys self-sacrifice with or compromise with is your how spirit wants to connect with you and how spirit wants to speak to you. So if you have certain routines and regimens that you would have normally honored, this is when spirit says, okay, I, I need more of you right now because there's a lot that I want to give to you as far as information, blessings, blessings and abundance, but you're not even going to know that this is what I'm working in your life. You're going to be beating your head up against a brick wall trying to get what you want to achieve when I, spirit, is working for the collective and your highest and greatest good. So in order for you to see that, you need to at least sometimes be kind of pinned pinned up against the wall and that can be really frustrating one of the major things that was coming through is this idea of frustration and how dark this energy can feel or how heavy this energy can feel and it can come forward in our responsibilities it can come forward in the things that are triggered by what abandons us or what we are called to abandon why because we are being forced out of situations and circumstances not to say that the relationship the job the whatever it is the lifestyle the belief system didn't serve us or that it wasn't good for us it's an aspect of it needs to evolve to sh change the shift or there's an as aspect within ourselves that needs to evolve or shift okay and transform so it really totally depends on where you're at but for the most part and where these planets are transiting within your chart but for the most part all of us are under the same wave of influence all of us are still under the same wave of energy and the best thing that we can do is to respect it to honor it to listen to listen to it because it is for our highest and greatest good these are relationships that have crumbled, careers that have zapped out of our lives, health issues that have shown up, aspects within ourselves that get bro broken down. And all of that can feel like obstacles, impediments to our growth, to our, our what we think is a blessing, when in reality, the impediment and the challenge is the blessing itself. Let me grab this tarot card. Judgment. I had to go chasing this card. Why? Because that's what spirit wants for you too, is to be able to go after and seek the truth. This is not someone else's truth or someone else's perspective or your perspective and you just only listening to that and seeing that and valuing that. It's spirit truth. It's divine truth. Divine and the planets see far greater than we can because as human beings we're so limited. And it's it, it will show us and reveal to us certain lenses that it has the gift to look looked for like or look through through our lessons that we are facing in our lives and those lessons totally change and shift how we perceive things or the information that we are our understanding of information that shows up right if you think about it as human beings all we're doing is living our earth living on earth and collecting information as we go along and instead of us getting locked and loaded into our own okay this is what this means or this is why this happened we want to surrender to divine wisdom we want to surrender to divine to, to divine vision so that we can see not from our limited perspective because of our lessons but from a higher perspective that invites in tremendous growth and with that also blessings on not just the spiritual, but also the mental, the physical, the emotional, and and the physical. Did I say that? Did I say that already? Blessings on all levels, right? This comes in the form, and this is something I want to specifically say, this comes in the form of financial blessings, financial wealth, financial prosperity, financial growth. Why? Because Jupiter is moving through the sign of Pisces. 
right? Jupiter is the guru. It's the wise, the wise, all-knowing planet for the most part, as as far as it can know, and as far as it's going to share its wisdom with us. It's in. It's not so much in our lessons. It's what the divine gives to us. And when Jupiter moved into the sign of Pisces, it wants to give us a higher purpose. It wants to give us higher vibrational relationships. It wants to give us high vibrational living. So that's a gift that's coming here too. And also at the time of, you know, looking at the chart, Jupiter is squaring off with the part of fortune sitting in, in the sign that Jupiter rules Sagittarius. So what does this mean? That means that, and also we have the Wheel of Fortune card here, there are blessings that are coming through simply by the in, in, things that are impeding us, things that we think from our brain is blocking our growth, but in reality, reality, it's kind of forcing you away from taking a certain road or route or path within your life that would have been doomed for failure, right? You might have been successful in what you were valuing at that time, but in the eyes of spirit, it says that level of success, you would have been successful in something very negative. You would have been successful in something very detrimental to your well-being, and we want for you so much more. I'm getting called to shuffle from the notes from the universe on love and connection while I'm talking about this Uranus square Saturn transit that we're, it currently is striking us right now. Um... I just heard striking us raw, meaning that it catch, it's catching us in a moment where we're already very vulnerable. We're already feeling very seen. We're all already feeling very transparent. And the beautiful thing about that, my loves, is that Saturn and um, Uranus squaring each other, Saturn in the sign of Aquarius, it is calling you to question in, you know, your role in humanity, your role to the to people, just people just people, not even intimate relationships, but all relationships, like how you show up for others and how you, like your, your, your intentions, what is your intention when you show up to others? Are you just trying to gain or are people trying to gain from you? Um, and this is why you want to kind of be independent sometimes. You want to stay in a space of um, independence, meaning like you sometimes have to disconnect. You have to emotionally dis disconnect because what spirit doesn't want you to do is take these lessons or take these experiences and you internalize them and say, okay, this person treated me this way or I was fired from this job or I, my body looks this way or my body feels this way because I suck at doing this. That's You want to emotionally detach from that logic, from that belief, from that perspective because that is not true. Do you see how it, the message kind of all connects? It's like these beliefs that we have about ourselves from these lessons when spirit actually wants more for us, but while we're doing that, we're, we're not meant to punish ourselves within that, right? So there's this message here of forgive that's coming through. Some of you guys, we have the yeehaw card here, but it's reversed, meaning this energy is blocked. Some of you guys are, are kind of stifled um, and resistant to this way that you are being recalibrated, where this, this path that you are being called to walk down. You are stuck in your tradition. You are stuck in your way of being, your way of experience things, your truth, what you wanted it to be. And again, what's actually happening here is that you are in a stage right now truly of initiation. There is absolutely tremendous growth that is happening and occurring, whether you realize it or not, simply because you were pushed to go this one way, okay? And what I don't want you guys to do is to transform or what I don't want you guys to do is to resist transforming. But at the same time as me saying that, I feel like some of you guys, this is going to kind of be like a catch-22. Some of you guys feel like, and this is going to be a tough message for me to share, but some of you guys are forcing transformation in one area of your life when spirit is like, I need you to surrender that area of your life to me. And I know that sounds wild because you guys are saying, Jess, you literally are talking to us about transformation, about letting go and about being rerouted. And I, that's what, it, that's exactly what it is that I'm doing. But that's the thing, my loves. It's not about what you are doing. It's what the universe needs to do for you. Okay. So it's not about you controlling the transformation. It's about you surrendering to it. Does that make sense? Please let me know down in the comments. Right. So with this, um, Venus, I'm sorry. Venus is in the sign of uh, uh, Cancer right now, but also as I'm looking at that, she's squaring off with Chiron, um, and she's also 
sextile Uranus. So this is aspects within ourselves that need to truly be nurtured. But I'm also hearing that she needs words of affirmation. She needs confirmation. She needs to have life spoken into her. She needs to feel protected. She needs to feel valued. She needs to feel safe. And I do see you wanting to give that to yourself, wanting to serve that to yourself. And I also am seeing spirit wanting to serve that to you. Because I do see some, as you're seeing these new truths and as you're having these, you know, judgment calls or awareness coming into your life, which can be very painful, it literally can be painful and triggering. So you want to have patience with yourself. You want to be tender with yourself. But the reality is, is that as you're doing that and as you're being patient with this, realize that you are being initiated into a high, higher vibrational life and a high vibrational you know, blessings and high vibrational relationships and high vibrational everything, career, purpose, destiny, all of the above. And that can be really tough to sit with. That can be really tough. And it can also challenge, you know, and trigger certain aspects within yourself that ask, you know, am I worth it? Am I capable? Is this what I want? What do I want? And the thing is, is that spirit says, I'm happy that you're asking those questions. I am so happy that you're asking those questions. My phone is blowing up right now, so shout out to you guys that are leaving comments and um, uh, finding you know your magical goodies and needs on the website, bahadilife.com slash shop. Appreciate that. Love that for you. Love that for us. Love that for we. Uh, but yeah. You know, and I know that this could be tough, but it's actually really beautiful. Um, from what I can see and what I can tell, spirit is really calling you to observe with a detached, a detached eye and a, a detached heart. Your experiences, the lessons that you've already lived through, and don't allow them to make you feel powerless or that you are that your weakness now or that your feelings now or who you are now is um not strong anymore spirit wants you to see all that has occurred without judgment and give yourself and others forgiveness for the fact that they occurred but also see how it transformed you into actually wanting more for yourself to the point where you might be defensive and on guard with anything that might come in simply because you do know that you want more for yourself. How could you not be more defensive? And with that, surrender to that fact, surrender to that truth, which is I do want more of, out of my relationships. I do want to feel differently than how it is that I'm feeling now. I do want to live um, my truth and, and have a, you know, a career, a purpose that has so much more depth and meaning. If it wasn't for the lessons that have already occurred, you wouldn't have known that that's what it is that you wanted. It had to have happened. So, and with that, as you're observing and as you're shifting your perspective, that's where the initiation is occurring. And again, initiation and transformation can be very, very painful. It can be very, very triggering. But once you are, once you feel it, once you see it, you will never feel and experience or see things the same way again. And that's exactly what spirit sees and wants for you, right? Um, the other thing that I want to talk to you guys is June 20th, Jupiter is going to go retrograde. Jupiter is now currently in the sign of Pisces. And the fact that Jupiter is now going retrograde um, at two degrees, yeah, seven of cups here this is going to cloud up some judgment it's going to make you feel lost confused conflicted it's going to have interesting opportunities coming in or a drought in opportunities that are not coming in and you're going to start to question yourself did i do something wrong what's going on things were kind of moving forward and i was you know starting to see some progress here i was starting to see some growth or i was starting to see myself expanding and now i kind of feel like i'm taking a step back and the thing is, is that Jupiter retrograde in the sign of Pisces right now and the way that he is sitting and being impacted by these planets, because you guys know I don't look at just the one transit, I look at the entire chart and the energy that it brings all together. It's meant to make you a little conf confuzzled is what I'm going to call it. It's, gonna, it's meant to make you a little confused. Why? Because you're not meant to know all and see all and spirit loves to throw some twists and turns in this roller coaster of life. 
Why? Because it wants you to continue to surrender to the surprises, the blessings, and the lesson that it wants to continue to pour into your life. That doesn't mean that it's going to punish you. It just means that it wants to show you that once you hit a certain spot within your own initiation, she's ready or he's ready in order to hear and receive this now. So allow yourself to sit back and to look at all the different thoughts, all the different ideas, all the different options, all the different perspectives that occurs starting around June 20th. You don't, you're not forced to make a decision. In fact, you're guided not to make permanent decisions. This is something that I've been telling my people around me um, and I'm also telling you, now is not the best time to make permanent decisions because nothing is concrete right now. The very ground and foundation that is that we're all standing on, whether it be our business, our relationships, our branding, whatever, is truly crumbling underneath our feet. It's like quicksand. And that's not meant to make you feel unstable. It's meant for you to stabilize yourself in something that will hold you despite the material, despite the physical. That is where you should be rooting yourself in, not in the current circumstance, if that makes any sense. So that when things start to fall away from you right now, and when they do it in the future, that's not a threat, that's a promise and it's a blessing. When they fall fall out, when they start to crumble, you're already ready. You already, you've been here, you've done that before, and you are rooted in faith. You are rooted in manifestation. You are rooted in a higher truth, a higher perspective, a higher love. So if something comes in and shakes that up, which it will inevitably, okay? You don't wanna build a relationship or a life or a career based upon perfect circumstances because when the storm rolls through, when the storm, not if, when the storm rolls through, you're not gonna be able to survive it. The relationship is not gonna be able to survive it. The house is not gonna be able to survive it. The, the business is not gonna be able to survive it. It has to be rooted in something far more stabilizing. So allow yourself to sit back and receive Jupiter's wisdom and Jupiter's intelligence and Jupiter's connection to spirit, especially now that it's sitting in the sign of Pisces. That is, Pisces rules the spiritual realms. It, it rules the divine. It rules unconditional love and higher truth, higher perspective and soulmate twin flame love. So we want to ask Jupiter for its, clear, its, its perspective. You wanna ask it for its wisdom. How can I gain this for my life? This is what it is that I want. And Jupiter says, I'm glad you asked. Consider this, consider this, consider this. And I can see this coming through through your dream work. I can see this coming through in your ruminations, you know, where your brain goes in throughout the day. Spirit is guiding you to allow yourself to drift, allow yourself to play, allow yourself to be curious, to explore. One of the things that's standing out right here for us is the card Three of Cups. And this is connected to play and fun and coming together as a community and coming together with, you know, just... Look at my chicken trying to get out right now, you guys. Speaking of curiosity and playfulness. But yeah, allowing yourself to, to play, to ask questions, to explore, to have fun. And the other thing about Jupiter is that as high as wise as he is and as wise as this planet brings it also is known for jovial light-hearted energy despite knowing and seeing so much more than <laughs> you know than our mercury type minds can receive and understand and that says a lot that says that we want to not feel punished and penalized by life in the circumstances, we wanna learn how to laugh at it. We wanna learn how to see the lesson in it and not take it personally. And as Saturn is moving to the sign of Aquarius, we are really totally guided to reaffirm through detachment. This doesn't mean that we tell ourselves that this doesn't mean anything to us or that this isn't, isn't significant or that we're not hurt. It just means to not take things so personally, not to absorb them into our energy and say that this is truth or that this is who I am or this is how I define myself. No, you are separate from these negative forces. You are separate and detached from someone else's beliefs or opinions of you. You are detached from the drama and the conflict that you sometimes may be interested or attracted to engage in. You're detached from your partner or you're, even though you have a spiritual soul mate connection or vibration with them, 
but you're just not, you're not them. You might be connected to them. There might be a bond there, but you are not them. They are not you. You have your own experiences. You have your own choices. And with that, there is freedom. Aquarius rules the energy of freedom. It rules the energy of, I honor who you are. I honor your belief. I honor your culture. I honor your identity, as well as you honoring mine. And with that, we will live our lives in respect of each other and we don't take it personally that someone wants to go this way or that this business is going this way or that we feel left behind don't feel left behind you still have your freedom all you have to do is shift your perspective and laugh with joy and gratitude that spirit is guiding you to continue to be independent as a spiritual and human being that's a beautiful thing the next thing that we need to talk about my loves is the Capricorn full moon. Ooh. Two of cups, ten of swords, death card reverse, nine of cups reverse, hermit card reverse, and page of swords. There is a lot coming through for the Capricorn full moon. I'm going to dive into that next. Make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from, and I'll see you in my next one.